Here is just a flavor of what happened at this Palestine, pro-Palestine rally in Michigan last night, SOT 14. We are not going to be intimidated by staying silent when they say Hamas is a terrorist organization. The fact it is not a terrorist organization. And we have to say to them the terrorist is Benjamin Netanyahu and his government. I mean, there, there, it was a packed house in support cheering for this message in the wake of what we just saw to say Hamas is not a terrorist organization. I would go, I would say this, that the speaker that you just saw, the college students who have, you know, expressed their solidarity, Black Lives Matter in Chicago with their tweet that had the hang glider saying free Palestine. These people in the left and, and outside of, you know, the area are traitors, not just to, I mean, to the Palestinian cause, they are false friends. What Hamas has done, and if it's true that it was on behalf of Iran, is going to bring misery to Palestinians, full stop. It's going to diplomatically and internationally isolate the Palestinian movement. It does not accomplish anything. And it is, in my view, racist to assume that Palestinians are savages and would endorse the savagery of the groups that purport to rule them. So when I see that man saying that Hamas are not terrorists and the real terrorist is Israel, I think as a Jew that it's disgusting. But I also think, you know, just as a as a as a human being, that this is no friend of the Palestinians. This is not somebody who has the best interests of Palestinians in mind. This is somebody who is reveling and glorying the murder of Jews, and it's disgusting. The report just breaking now via I-24 News. Uh, the Israeli Defense Force says it has not identified any impact and no reports of wounded following drone infiltration alerts in northern Israel. So we heard the sirens and we saw the initial reports, but they're not identifying any wounded or impact from the infiltration so far. That story is developing, and we'll see where it goes. Um, the leftist... Uh, lawmakers seem to be really struggling right now on how to message this, Eli. Um, I bring you Ed Markey, who is holding an event, senator from Massachusetts, yesterday. Elizabeth Warren is right behind him, and he decides to hit on the de-escalation message. It was just Monday. He decides to hit on the de-escalation. I mean, this is before Israel's even had a chance to do anything in response to the attack on it. But listen to how it went. Listen to how this went. There must be a de-escalation of the current violence. The United States should... We... He looks befuddled. And you know this is a left-wing crowd. Who else shows up to listen to Ed Markey and Senator Elizabeth Warren speak? I think that the moment has really, I mean, I, I think what we heard there is zombie peace processing. I mean, this is the talking points of 25 years ago and the Clinton administration, the cycle of violence, looking at root causes of savagery. And, you know, it's hard to sort of let it go, uh, has been the talking point now for the Democrats. And, you know, you know, with some, you know, 10, 15 years ago, Republicans too, um, and it no longer applies. They've, these people have shown us who they are, and we have to act accordingly. Mm. I think the Benjamin Netanyahu and Israeli spokesmen have been right when they say that Hamas is like ISIS. I would say that, you know, they are like, you know, the sort of savage hordes throughout human history, whether they're the Mongols or the Romans or the Mesopotamians. But the only thing you can do in the face of such evil, evil is to wipe it out. The media is complicit in that same message that Ed Markey just attempted. Uh, not only they, do they try to downplay the evils of Hamas by, you know, the way they reference Hamas, but they are very pro de-escalation as a norm and will probably quickly switch to that message entirely. Uh, I'll give you just a couple of examples that jumped out at me. New York Times. They published a story, Hamas Leaves Trail of Terror in Israel, and in it they referred to Hamas terrorists. Then they changed, this is via Greg Price uh, on Twitter, then they changed it to Hamas leaves trail of terror in Israel and changed it from Hamas terrorists to Hamas gunmen. 
They, even the president is saying terrorists. It's okay, New York Times. You can say it. Uh, up north, the Canadian Broadcasting Corp, which is even further left than MSNBC, if that's possible, they sent out... Um, a, a memo that was leaked, their director of journalistic standards, to all their journalists saying, uh, do not refer to militants, soldiers, or anyone else as terrorists. They say that's opinion, not fact. Even the Canadians and their government recognize Hamas as a terrorist group. So why won't they write it? I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I, I could argue that I agree with the CBC. We shouldn't call them terrorists. We should call them diabolical barbarians. I mean, are you serious? This is uh, ridiculous. Uh, was anybody having this discussion after 9-11 about right. Al-Qaeda? Was anybody having this discussion after ISIS beheads American aid workers? It's ridiculous. And it seems like it's a constant kind of double standard for Israel that's in the media. But, you know, fortunately, the media does not really hold the same position right now in our politics and our society in the West than it did before because of, you know, alternative, you know, platforms like your like yours or the free press. Well, I know you've heard betting and apparel brands say we're the most softest, we're the most comfortable, but do they actually promise it? Do they guarantee it? They put their money where their mouth is. At Cozy Earth they do. At Cozy Earth you get the softest, most luxurious feeling fabric guaranteed. And that means if you don't love Cozy Earth's bamboo sheets, their famous bamboo sheets, you have 100 days to get your money back. They're not worried though about refunds because once you try Cozy Earth, you're hooked for life. Start with Cozy Earth's best-selling bamboo sheet set made of 100% premium viscose from bamboo. Super soft, ethically sourced sheets, which regulate your temperature, keeping you cool in the summer and cozy in the winter months. And it's not just sheets. They've got pajamas, loungewear, bath towels, and much more. Unbelievably soft, unforgettably comfortable. The coziest way to make your home a sanctuary. And don't forget Cozy Earth's guarantee. All of their products can be returned or exchanged within 100 days and include an additional 10-year warranty against defects. CozyEarth.com. Enter code MEGAN at checkout for up to 40% off your order. CozyEarth.com. Promo code M-E-G-Y-N. CozyEarth.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.